Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, I'm going to show you the best areas to stay in Paris. What areas are the best places to stay and what to do in them? And I'm starting off with the area around Les Arles. Les Arles, Les Arles, the horse. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why don't you come and join me on this week's episode of Travelling Fabulously. <laughs> Léal started its life as a food market back in 1183 and until the 1970s was Paris's largest food market. But what makes this area so special and a great place to come and stay when you're in Paris is its proximity to everything. You're just a hop, skip and a jump away from the Louvre, from the river, from the Grand Boulevards, from Republic and of course the Pompidou. You can walk everywhere from Léal. But another benefit is that Léal is actually one of the largest metro stops in Paris. Approximately 750,000 people a day go through the Layal Chatelet metro station. That's a lot of people. The markets themselves were torn down in 1973 to make way for the Forum de Halle, which is below me. But behind me, as you can see, just being constructed over there, is one of the last remaining pavilions of the market, the Hall de Bleu which is otherwise known as the Hall of Corn. I don't know why they call it the Hall of Corn, because corn is mace and bleu is flour. But anyways, maybe it's corn flour, but wouldn't that be mace bleu? The Hall de Flour, the Hall de Bleu, the Hall of Corn, is now being renovated and turned into a fabulous new museum to house the private collection of Pinot. He's a French billionaire who wants to like show everyone his art. If I was a French billionaire, I'd show everybody my art as well. In front of me is the Church Eustace, built for the market, so it gives you a pretty good idea of how grand the market was, that such a big church could be built for it. It now has one of the largest organs. You don't get the crowds like you do at other churches in the city, so you can have a walk around, a stroll, as long as you're not disturbing the people that are actually, you know, here to pray. I wonder if they might get take that to come and do a concert here. All I do each night is pray, Hoping that I'll be a part of you again someday. In 1973, the market buildings or pavilions were demolished and the market itself was moved out to Rumpus, outside of the city circles. Trucks going in and out of the city to get to the Layal markets was just becoming an absolute nightmare. And now we have the magnificent, although some think slightly controversial, golden building of Layal above the Forum and the Nelson Mandela Gardens. Sure, there are some streets around Layal that aren't the best. You know, there's a few with some sex shops, but nestled in amongst those shops is some really fabulous restaurants. You should totally go check it out. Besides, after dinner, you know, you could pop into one of those shops and buy yourself some lovely lingerie or maybe something a little bit naughtier. Although in the interest of keeping this family friendly, I do not recommend such things. No. But it could be a good way to start a family. Oh, and if you're a hip young person, um, there's some really cool clothes shop along the way too, where you can get some very interesting outfits. Some of those great restaurants include rice and fish, which is Japanese. And of course you're going to come to France and have great Japanese food. If you're staying in the area of Layal, check out Rue saint Sauveur, where you can go have some delicious food, like fish and chips from Joanna's, or some Thai from Kapunka, or how about a good drink? Go to the experimental bar for a cocktail. If you go with me, I might even set you up with one of the waiters. Done that in the past. Or Joffrey's, go see my New Zealand and Czechoslovakian friends at Red Bar for a great drink. <laughs> Rue Montegroy. Yeah. Try and saying that with a thick Australian accent. Rue Montegroy is filled with great food shops and it's one of my local bistros, Le Compass, and one of the oldest patisseries in Paris. Yes, if you love to cook and you're coming to stay in Layal, then I suggest you bring an extra suitcase. As I mentioned in my best shopping episode, there is, of course, Deliquin, which is Paris's oldest cooking shop, but you also have La Bovida and Mora. And while you're there, you might as well stop off at the Frogois place as well. So, my top five things to do whilst you're staying in around Layal. Number one, of course, that big 
drink organ at Church Eustace. Number two, have a drink along Saint Saviour with my friends at Red Bar. Number three, check out the great food on Rue Montecroy. Number four, go shopping. And number five, check out the soon to be opened Musée by the French Bouillonnaire with his private art collection at the newly renovated Bourse de Commerce. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Travelling Fabulously and I've given you some really great tips on what to do and where to go if you're in the area. Don't forget to subscribe by Fabulous and this way hitting the subscribe button down below. That way you can get next week's video. I think you've got to hit a little ding-a-ling button or something as well and that way they'll send you an email. Share me around with your friends. I love to be shared around. Go on, you know I love it. Do it. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram or even the Twitter. Sometimes they even say funny things on the Twitter. Sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes tune in for next week's episode of more Traveling Fabulously and whatever you do, don't forget, do it fabulously. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why not join me on Traveling Fabulously?